In this video, we're going to take a look at some special cases that come up as we solve linear equations. Sometimes, as we're solving the linear equation, the variable will subtract out completely. With no variables left, we won't be able to determine that x equals some specific number. It actually means one of two things. It means there is either no solution, no value for x that makes the equation true, or there are an infinite number of solutions. In other words, any number you pick will make the equation true. So let's take a look at some examples and see if we can decide whether or not this means there is no solution or infinite solutions. In this first problem, we would start solving, balancing through the equals by distributing through the parentheses. This would give us 6x plus 2 equals 3 times 2 is 6x plus 3 times 1 is 3. At this point, we like to get the variable all on one side. We can get rid of 6 positive x's with 6 negative x's and subtracting 6x on both sides of the equation. Notice the 6x's subtract out of the left, leaving just 2. Equals 6x minus 6x subtracts out, leaving just the 3. This is interesting. The variable has subtracted out completely. What we're going to be interested in is this resulting equation. This says 2 equals 3. Notice, 2 does not equal 3. That's a false equation. If this 2 equals 3 is false, then the original equation must also be false as well. Basically, this translates to say that it never works. Because 2 never equals 3, we say this will never have a solution or there is no solution to this equation. Let's take a look at another example. Again, in this problem, we'll start by balancing through the equals and then distributing through the parentheses. When we do, we get 4x plus 1 equals 2 times 2x is 4x, 2 times 3 is 6 minus 5. After distributing, we check to see if we can combine like terms. On the right side, we see we have 6 minus 5. The equation now reads 4x plus 1 equals 4x plus 6 minus 5 is 1. Again, at this point, we like to get the variable all on one side. We can get rid of 4 positive x's with 4 negative x's. When we do that, we see the 4 x's are subtracting out completely on both sides. On the left side, we're left with 1 equals... On the right side, we're left with 1. Again, with no variable, we won't be able to determine what the e variable equals, but instead, we'll look at the equation and ask, does 1 equal 1? Yes, it does. We get a true statement. Because the 1 equals 1 always, this is always true, it also suggests that the original equation is also always true. Because it's always true, we will say there are infinite solutions. Or sometimes you'll hear people say, all real numbers. Which simply means, if I can get rid of this pop-up, which simply means any number that you can plug in for x will make this equation a true equation. So in conclusion, what we're seeing is if the variable subtracts out completely when we move everything to one side, we will either have an infinite number of solutions, if we get a true equation, or no solution if we have a false equation.